Okay, you're gonna see something that nobody on Earth has ever seen before. Nobody. Anyway, me being the only person on Earth that knows how the magnetodielectric geometry of a quote-unquote magnet works, I predicted that with the world's most diamagnetic metal, with a special configuration, I would be able to predict the phenomena. <coughs> it turns out I'm exactly correct. Here you have some 99.99% uh, .99 pure bismuth disks that I cast. They're about a quarter pound each, maybe actually a little bit more than that. They're quite heavy. They're here over a quarter pound. This one's not as heavy. It doesn't make any difference. This side we have a little ring magnet. It's a one and a quarter inch. On the other side, although it's covered in tape, is a one inch by half inch uh, N50 neodymium. It's just covered in uh, electrical duct tape on another experiment. It doesn't make any difference. And in between those two in a sandwich, we have another 99.95% bismuth disc that I cast. So, you're thinking, well, bismuth is a diamagnetic, so, you know, you're just getting a reaction from the bismuth to the magnet. That's not the case. Now I'm just going to imitate here. You're going to have to take my word for it, otherwise you have to build one yourself. But I'm imitating if I'm using my arm as a fulcrum of the reaction that I get. You have to take my word for it. You can build one yourself and validate it yourself. I flip it over to the flat side. <coughs> I predicted this before I actually built this, and I was right. Hallelujah! I'm just using my arm as a free fulcrum to mimic the action, the reaction that I'm uh, getting. You're thinking, well, the powerful magnet's down here, so let's just flip it and you get the same reaction because bismuth is diamagnetic. So you're going to get the same thing. Nope. 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 Let's try it this way. Nope. Let's try it this way. Nope. Let's try it slow. Nope. This way? Nope. Let's try it the other way. See if we get the reaction using the con... The, uh... The other side of the bismuth that... Nope. This way? Nope. Nothing. Nope. This is a lot more powerful a magnet. Is the N52 Gauss. Obviously a lot bigger than this tiny little disc magnet. Oh, so what's special here are the little bismuth slash magnet sandwich we got going on here. Why does it only work on this side and not this side? Well, I'll have to explain that in the third or fourth edition. But the only reason I built this is because I predicted that this would happen. I'm just uh, imitating the reaction that I'm getting. You don't have to believe me. You can say, well, you're just swinging your arm any which way, you know. How do I know you're telling the truth? Build it yourself, all right? Don't take my word for it. I don't care what you believe. I'm not here to who do you. I'm certainly not selling anything to you. Now, I need to actually position them perfectly over top a ring magnet. And our magnet were a little bit off skew, so they need to be situated perfectly. Here we go. I should have taped them before doing this experiment on video, but I didn't. Who cares? Oh. Amazing. So I'm just using my arm as, as a pressure indicator. Amazing. Come in for a dive like an airplane. Now if I try to settle down, I'll encounter a cushion, then I'll actually settle in. Otherwise, So, why does it work like that? But, if I turn it over with the big magnet, well, bismuth is super diamagnetic. So that's where you should get your reaction, if any. Remember, this is over a quarter pound. This is heavy stuff. It's just above lead. Nope. Nothing. 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 Nope. 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 Let's try it. Let's try it this way. Nope. Nothing. Mmm. Nope. 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 Mm. Nope. Nope. That not work that way. Should. Well, this is the big magnet. It's N52 Gauss. It's a powerful little beast. 
And here's your bismuth. If it's going to work anyway, it's going to work this. No, it doesn't work that way at all. Oh, so my prediction was 100% accurate. Although the results, considering this is over a quarter pound and insanely heavy, heavier than lead, the reaction is amazing. I said, don't believe me, build it yourself. I don't care. I knew this would work. I predicted it would work. That's why I built this. That's why I cast these discs. One of the reasons I cast these discs. Anyway. Fun with bismuth. Combine two magnets, ring magnet, and the universe's most strong diamagnetic metal. Sandwich them, make a set, make a hamburger sandwich with the meat as the uh, as the bismuth, and uh, watch what happens. Works this way, doesn't work this way at all. Why it should work this way? Here's the magnet, and here's our super diamagnetic metal. Doesn't work that way. You know why? No, I know why. Take too long to explain. I'll put it in the book. Okay. Thanks for watching.